Hi, this is John Palmer, Olympus Urology Rep, and we're going to go over our shock pulse PCNL system uh, and shock pulse tray used for percutaneous nephrolithotomies. This here is the actual generator, shock pulse generator. It's a plug and play generator. Um, power cord's in the back. Um, power button is on the front left, and when you turn it on, um, it's ready to go. We simply just attach the transducer and if we're using the foot switch, we'll attach the foot switch in the rear. So here's the prong for the foot switch. It's going to attach in this back right rear panel. There's a red dot and that's going to be on the up at the 12 o'clock position. And then this is going to click in nice and firm. So when we do that, it's going to show that we've attached the foot switch. So our shock pulse is ready to use at this point and we'll attach the, the probe and the transducer. This is our shock pulse uh, handpiece tray. We have three of these trays and in each tray is going to have our transducer, our wrench, our nose cone, and then the sterile probe that we'll use is going to be our shock pulse probe uh, which hangs in the room. So you're going to want to grab uh, Preferably, we always want to have two of these. You know, obviously, we're just going to open one, but have a backup in the room uh, available. So, we're going to use sterile technique, opening up the tray. We're getting the handpiece. We're going to get the nose cone, and we're going to use the wrench. This is the end that will pass off ultimately to the circulator, which will connect it to the machine. And I'll get to that in just a moment. On the Shock pulse probe. We're going to use sterile technique. We're going to take the probe out. It's a one piece probe. And again, keep it within the sterile field. This is what's going to attach to our hand piece or our transducer. And we're going to first start by threading it on with our fingers and just clockwise. And we're going to tighten it with our hands. Again, I would have sterile gloves on sterile field and then we're going to take our wrench and this is a torque wrench which means once we've applied enough pressure the wrench will release so it does have an arrow and that's the direction we want to go uh, for proper pressure and releasing the wrench and it's going to attach right there on that portion of the probe slide that on and then we're going to tighten and then you felt the wrench release so it's released so it's tight next point we're going to take the nose cone and you're simply going to slide it over the probe and you're going to put a little pressure and you're going to turn it clockwise and it's going to be a little squeaky mm -hmm. and tighten that down tight. The rear of this is going to have our suction so you'll have suction tubing in the room so um, we'll attach suction to the to the rear of this. Um, next thing is, is you're going to pass this end as I mentioned earlier off to the circulator when we attach this, if you can see, this end here, there's a flat portion, and that's the end that goes in at 12 o'clock. So we want this on the upside. Um, as I rotate that, you can kind of see that's the only area on this. The reason I say that, it goes in a certain way. So we push it in, and this green light will illuminate solid. So now we're ready to go. Um, the position, we'll get this positioned on the stone, and we have it to use the foot switch. So right now it's set up to use the foot switch. Um, to do that, we just simply press and it's going to activate. So um, high power, standard power. Um, that's with the foot switch. We can activate it from the handpiece uh, for the physician. To do that, you would unplug the back where the foot switch is. So we would simply just unplug this and it's firm. So I'm going to Try to do that one-handed. We'll unplug that. So at this point, as you see, it doesn't illuminate green that the foot switch is enabled. We're using it from the handpiece. Some physicians uh, like to use the foot switch. Some physicians sometimes like to use the handpiece. So it gives you option for both. To use it from the handpiece, you do a double tap, and then it kicks on. And then a single tap will turn it off. So high power, standard power. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you get a fault, if it tells you to check probe or an error, um, first thing is to make sure that nothing's come loose um, 
and you want to check your probe to make sure that it hasn't uh, become loose or, or damaged um, and generally uh, if it's loose you tighten it we'll be back to back good again or if the probe had, had broken then you'll replace the probe uh, but it's pretty foolproof plug and play at the end of the case um, you know we're going to power our unit down the probe is going to be discarded so um, we're going to unscrew this keep in mind this is ultrasonic energy so thousands and thousands of repetitions are going through this this can get uh, can be a little warm and it can be it'll be tightened sometimes so it's, it takes a little bit more muscle sometimes to uh, to release this but to release it we're going to be going counterclockwise and we're going to go the opposite way and then there we go and then unscrew this and then this is going to be thrown away in your sharps container or discarded and everything else goes back into the tray and wrap this up All and right. then um, we also have some hand instruments that I'll show you um, these are going to be used through the nephroscope. They don't go through the, the shock pulse, but that shock pulse is going through an actual nephroscope to treat the stone. And, and a physician wants to grab fragments, the three-prong grasper is pretty common. So we've got a three-prong and we've got various other graspers in here. So uh, the physician will let you know what